All right, it's my absolute pleasure to introduce Dr. Hubert Hull. Hubert's awesome. Uh, Hubert did an undergraduate at Harvard in physics and music, is that correct? And uh, did his doctorate in music composition at the University of California, Berkeley, which is super awesome because that's where also I went to school. That's right. So Hubert and I uh, overlapped at the UC Berkeley, which is incredibly cool. He's super smart. And he's going to share with us today not only, well, he'll tell you what he's going to share, but uh, not only is it an amazing work in music theory, but there's a lot of research in acoustics and psychoacoustics, which is an exciting area in, in music research. Uh, but I believe today he's going to share some of his music, uh, which has taken him uh, many places. In particular, he won a Fulbright Fellowship to study in Prague uh, as, a, as a research scholar. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure what he's going to talk about today, but I know it's going to be good. So, Hubert Hall. Thank you, Tony. Well, in our efforts to turn up the volume, we have a little bit of buzz, but hope won't be too distracting. I'm going to talk about a recent instrumental composition of mine called The Garden of the Forking Paths. Uh, my talk is entitled Sonic Labyrinths in the Recent Compositional Work. Uh, this composition was written for an ensemble called Prague Modern, pictured here. And the terms of the commission were to have each composer select a text by Jorge Luis Borges, the Argentine author, and to discover ways in which the text might give impetus to some sort of inspiration or the genesis of a musical idea. I settled upon the 1941 short story, The Garden of Forking Paths, from the collection of texts with eponymous title. The story is told from the perspective of a Chinese spy, Yu Tsun, working for Germany during World War I. Yu Tsun learns that his collaborator has been captured or murdered by a British agent and that this agent is now pursuing him. Yu Tsun seeks a stranger by the name of Stephen Albert to help him fulfill his mission. Albert happens also to be a scholar of Chinese literature who happens to have studied some of the works of one of Yu Tsun's ancient ancestors. The story is highly labyrinthine and it's a very, very fascinating story and I will not spoil the ending for you and let Borges, the master himself, reveal it to you. I was attracted to specific elements of Borges' craft. Narrational diversions, quick endings, plot alterations, exquisite language, and a multi-layer symbolism. I envisioned my musical composition as an expression of these techniques rather than a representation of the story. In particular, the centerpiece of the story the description of the Garden of Forking Paths serves as an initiating germ for my own working processes. And here's a quote. The Garden of Forking Paths is an incomplete but not false image of the universe as Sui Pen conceived it. In contrast to Newton and Schopenhauer, your ancestor did not believe in a uniform absolute time. He believed in an infinite series of times in a growing dizzying net of divergent, convergent, and parallel times. As a composer, also trained in music theory, piano, and the hard sciences, including physics and music psychology, my compositional processes incorporate a number of different inputs. I typically imagine myself improvising on instruments when, I'm first start, when I first start composing, and I also engage in pre-compositional and formal processes, utilizing theoretical inputs and psychoacoustical frameworks at the end of the process. When writing this piece, I catalog a variety of physical gestures that might be uh, linked to particular instruments. I'm also particularly inter uh, interested in extended techniques, which are techniques that are not typical to uh, the instrument. And I incorporate particular pitch, timbral, and harmonic and melodic constraints to fulfill the piece. Borges' own forays into textual labyrinths have led me to discover some of my own sonic labyrinths finding ways I might challenge the uniform and absolute. So here are a few excerpts which draw upon the constellation of descriptive and philosophical ideas. Besides each idea, I have written a number of musical descriptors detailing some of the sonic characteristics. So here's uh, the opening of the piece, actually, and I'm going to play it a couple times. <laughs> Here are some other sort of pods and ideas that I had uh, uh, during the piece. 
uh, drops the idea of dissolution of material and sonic and text, both in time and memory. And fragmentation. In that except you heard a man singing through his horn. That's a really fun, that's a really fun sound to use. I will conclude by playing a one minute excerpt of the uh, composition. And I invite you to listen to the entire piece at home uh, through my SoundCloud page and describe, dis discover some of your own sonic labyrinths. <laughs> 